Hi, I'm Dr. Sonia Doherty. I'm a naturopathic doctor who focuses on the biomedical treatment of autism, spectrum disorder, and other developmental delays. Um, I'm also a mom of a child with autism who's duly diagnosed with ADHD. And at one point in time, we were told through an assessment um, from a really lovely occupational therapist that Magnus was at such high risk for fine motor disability that we should just uh, proceed towards assisted technology in kindergarten rather than worrying about his ability to hold a pencil or crayons and color. Uh, they had felt that it would be very upsetting to him. So uh, along the way, we've been incredibly lucky to have information uh, that other parents don't always have. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted to be able to share this with you in the, you know, in the Knowledge Centre on the BME platform. We took that information in the assessment and we looked at the underlying medical aspects that contribute to fine and gross motor delays. And let me tell you a little bit about those and then I'll tell you the, the end of our story. So fine and gross motor delays are actually uh, easy to understand in autism because in autism, we know that there's mitochondrial impairment. Now, mitochondria produce all the energy in our body. So everything we do requires energy or ATP from talking to holding a pencil, to running, to swimming, even to focusing with our eyes. All of these are uh, driven by the mitochondrial production of ATP. And what we've learned along the way as parents is that the, the visual processing, the tracking of visual information and expressive language are actually the finest of fine motor skills. Those two systems, the visual system and the system that includes our articulators for communication verbally, those two plus our hands take a tremendous amount of energy in our body. And with mitochondrial impairment, children diagnosed with autism have less energy production. So they have predictable delays in these areas. So visual processing, eye contact, verbal communication, handwriting. So the nice thing about this type of research is that it gives us an opportunity as parents to look at the medical treatments for autism that are out there and available. And the good news is, is that it is both safe and effective to improve mitochondrial function. You can do that through putting children on a modified ketogenic diet or a paleo diet. And although that's difficult, it dramatically improves the production of ATP. You can use things like B12 injections, cod liver oil, omega-6 fatty acids, uh, fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin E. So the good news is, is if your child is experiencing fine motor and gross motor delays in autism, know that there is a medical treatment. And for us, we were able to leap over that assessment with the important information, but also knowing that if we medically treated our son, he would be able to progress, not just to writing, but to running and jumping and swimming. And so today we have a kid who writes at age level and he's able to play hockey and swim and jump and play rugby and do all the other things that kids his age can do. Um, so we hope that this information is helpful to you. And I hope that every parent who has a child who has fine and gross motor delays investigates mitochondrial medicine because it is safe and very effective.